So, according to the latest rumors, Fujifilm X-T5's announcement is right around the corner. Seeing the rumor specs, we can undoubtedly say it'll be a great upgrade over the 2020's fan favorite X-T4. But what differentiates it from Fuji's latest release, Fujifilm X-H2? Well, let's find out. Though Fuji's XT ranged in line with Sony's A6600 and Olympus OMD EM13, upon release, Fujifilm XT4 was regarded as one of the best APS-C cameras out there. It surpassed all its competition with its groundbreaking stabilization and sensor, which made it hard to make any name of worthy rivals. Now, rumors are surfacing around its successor, the XT5, and boy, do they look promising. According to the rumors, it'll pack a 40 megapixel APS-C non-stack Xtron sensor which will be in line with the latest release, X-H2. Same dynamic range, autofocus speed and accuracy as the X-H2, but no battery grip, so this may throw off some of you. X-T5 is expected to adopt Fujifilm's retro dial for settings like ISO and shutter speed rather than X-H2's PSAM or program shutter auto manual approach. You may ask what makes the X-T5 differ from X-H2. Well, it'll be less pro-learning in many areas and go through some cost cuttings like dual SD slots rather than the more expensive CF Express, an inferior electronic viewfinder similar to X-T4, limited video recording time, and many more. Though Fujifilm X-T4 was very well received, there were some noises around the screen for having a fold-out fully articulated screen. Everyone loved X-T3 screen for waist-level shooting and portrait orientation shots, X-T3 setup was perfect. So maybe if X-T5 has an X-T3's body with the internals of X-H2, it'll be the best of both worlds. Fujifilm is not planning to bring out any X-T5S version with a stack sensor, so if you really need a stack sensor, you can go for the X-H2S which has a 26.1 MP APS-C stack CMOS sensor. The announcement will likely be made in November and the price will be in the ballpark of $1600, the same as the launching price of X-T4. These features would not exactly make the X-T5 that unique from the X-H2, but it'll have a massive advantage over its rivals in this price range. And there's also a large availability of Fuji's X-mount lenses. If the rumors are correct, then X-T5 will be one of a kind, just like its predecessor Fuji X-T4. So that was all about the upcoming Fujifilm X-T5. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below.